Yo, this is the town, Lucchese, Lucchese Vision, man. Shut your mouth, boy, entertainment. If I didn't say this shit, this shit didn't happen. This is part two of Humzito Radio Edition of Lucchese Vision. We just chopping it up. Check it out. I think it was the other game. That one was way too. Damn. Nigga, you're calling it out for real. You're calling it on point. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been sitting there watching you. I've been sitting there waiting for you to give a, a good rating on a whack ass song that you haven't did that shit yet. Because I'm true, yeah. man. I'm a real nigga, man. I got to be true to this, to this shit. I'm an artist myself. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, see, and you know what? See, that's what the see. That's the story that the, the niggas don't want to understand. That's the white man's plan, fam. What he does is he says, "Look, you don't need to read. You don't need an education. You can become a rapper. All you need to do is go steal enough or sell enough dope to get you a computer, and and, and smoke you some weed and put your life story on tape, and you're gonna be rich, man. Don't you know everybody got the same life story as you, man? These niggas don't understand or worse." about this man this is this is a, a humzito exclusive man you heard it here first on lucchese vision man on lucchese vision man all y'all go check out fuck your mixtape nick fuck your mixtape dot com and you will hear this story here in this feed live man we got to do something about this man you know what i'm saying if it ain't these weak ass rappers man it's the police you feel me hey man what do you feel about how back in the day when rappers would come out with an album you would just rush to the store to buy it you didn't even have to hear a song now these niggas shit come out, man. I don't trust none of this shit, man. Nah, nah, man. I remember, I remember going down to Electric Cedars and walking in there and looking at the wall and seeing all the, oh, Rocky will come out next month. Oh, you see how coming out in two months? Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Run DMC coming out in two weeks? Oh, okay. Or going, on, there, or going there and grabbing two, three tapes at one time. I mean, hell yeah, you're grabbing two and three tapes at one time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man, yes, but it ain't like that no more, it ain't like that no more because we didn't have a problem with doing something that the kids have problems with today, we didn't have a problem with supporting the artists. Fam, you know the okay. last, you know the last CD, I mean the last uh, tape I bought because they didn't even have CDs yet, the last one I bought, nigga, it was MC Light, Light as a Rock, nigga. The first CD that my mom ever brought for me is when Run DMC came out with the Walk This Way, the King of Rock album. She came home with the King of Rock tape for me. Thanks, Mama. Wow. Yeah. yeah since you know what? Since that's been that's weird. The last time I got a tape was around that time, too, or a CD, or whatever. It was around that time. Maybe my beat was the last one I bought. Something 
like that as a Tory B I C problem, you know. You know but, what? Uh, yeah. I, I I bought yep, you know what? You know what? I never even bought two pop or Biggie albums. I got that shit off the internet, man. Way back then. Wow. I never bought wow. that. I never bought that shit, man. I think the last CD that I really, really bought, I think I did buy one CD since then. And I think it was like, man, it might have been like the Chronic or something or, or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I did. I actually got the Chronic. You know, classic albums you're gonna get. The Chronic was classic. That's why Trey ain't came out with nothing else again because he don't want to do nothing worse than the Chronic. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, because the Chronic was so damn bad. Yes. Let me pause this for a minute. You know what? I just want to say this. The internet <coughs> has made it so that niggas can't even really be real artists anymore. I think that the big brother put the internet here when they found out niggas was making big money and becoming rich in, in the music game. They said, you know what? Okay, you can listen to these niggas, but these niggas ain't going to make no money. So they got the internet so niggas can get CDs and shit and, and get listen to people's shit for free and don't got to buy it. So now niggas ain't really getting paid. And all these videos, they got all this jewelry on and flashing all this fake money, but they ain't really got that money because... Ain't nobody buying no motherfucking CDs. Ain't nobody buying no music. And got white people and black kids together. When you got white people putting switches on their car and trying to see more, and you got white people First, man. It's a good time on Lucchese, man. Lucchese Vision. Shut your mouth, boy, entertainment. If I didn't say the shit, the shit didn't happen. This was Humzito Radio Part 2. We keeping it real. We keeping it authentic.